Due to Keita's headless nature and its imploding energy, its influence is not easy to see externally. It's more like an energy that turns inward, so it's better to understand how K2 affects us personally rather than how it impacts the outside world. And because K2 is often seen as a malefic force, its results may not always match our materialistic desires. So, it's important to be open to how K2 works in our lives. This current transit of K2 in Chitra, in the Libra sign, gives us a hint of what it's like when K2 is in Virgo. Chitra spreads from Virgo to Libra, transiting the nakshatra ruled by Mars and the sign ruled by Mercury in the Virgo section. K2 in Chitra can inspire a research-oriented approach in creative pursuits. People might explore creative hobbies that involve things like research, investigating, or mystical topics. This time could bring back old creative interests or skills from past lives, making people really dedicated to these activities. However, it's possible that when K2 is in Chitra, especially in Virgo, may lead individuals to become perfectionists and might become very focused on finding faults in others. Instead, it's better to look at their own shortcomings and improve themselves. Considering that both K2 and Chitra are associated with psychology, individuals might find themselves inclined towards researching and studying psychology or delving into new facets of human consciousness. Chitra, which is linked to various occult subjects such as tarot cards and astrology, could pique people's interest in mystical areas. However, it's important to be cautious due to the combined influence of the malefic Mars as the ruler of the Chitra Nakshatra and K2. This combination might lead to sudden and transformative events, highlighting the need for vigilance against accidents, unexpected incidents, or surgeries. This is especially relevant now as Mars is currently transiting through the Chitra Nakshatra. This transit could also stimulate pursuits related to construction and new creations, given Chitra's connection with universal architect Vishwakarma. People may discover hidden talents, skills, or creative abilities, possibly stemming from past life expertise, during this period. To make the most of this transit, it is advisable to turn inward, nurturing and developing personal talents, creativity, and past life abilities, instead of engaging in ego clashes with others. This transit may also have a more pronounced impact on individuals experiencing Dasha period of K2. To assess the impact of this transit, it's crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The ascendant sign provides insights into the timing of life events, while the moon sign reveals how you'll emotionally respond to these changes. Additionally, consider the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. It's important to remember that the effects of this transit will vary for each person. To understand how this transit may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses it transits, let's delve into those specifics. For Aries, K2 will be transiting through Chitra Nakshatra in Virgo. In the sixth house, you might feel disconnected from your usual daily challenges. This detachment can lead to a greater sense of acceptance and a more spiritual perspective on life's difficulties. You may adopt a philosophical approach to handling your problems. This transit indicates that your daily work may involve a lot of research-oriented tasks. The influence of Chitra Nakshatra on K2 suggests a focus on creativity, research, and psychology. You might be drawn to creative and structured work or research related to your job. This transit could inspire you to explore your work in a more disciplined manner. Additionally, there might be an interest in psychology, leading to a deeper understanding of the human mind and behavior. This K2 transit could also help you succeed in competitive exams and other areas. With Rahu being in the 12th house, K2's natural inclination towards isolation and spirituality is enhanced in this transit. You may feel a strong urge to detach from material concerns and focus on your spiritual growth. You can find separation in relationship matters or at your workplace. You might be inclined towards meditation, yoga, or other spiritual practices that connect you with the mystical world. This period offers an opportunity for profound inner exploration and self-discovery. If your birth chart supports it, this transit could even pave the way for you to settle abroad permanently. You may get into disputes or litigations during this time. Chitra Nakshatra can bring conflicts, disputes, and ego clashes. You should be cautious about unnecessary confrontations and disagreements during this time. Workplace relations can become conflict-ridden and undergo major changes. It's essential to practice patience and diplomacy when dealing with disputes. Try your best to avoid conflicts and litigation. Keta's influence in the sixth house signifies that you may experience echoes from past lives in sixth house matters, although it might be very subtle. 
you might find yourself drawn to situations or skills that feel familiar from a previous existence. This could lead to a sense of deja vu or a natural inclination towards activities or knowledge you have mastered in another lifetime. There can be illnesses related to intestines or illnesses of an unusual nature. During this period, you might rethink how you approach your health. If you get sick, it could be tough to figure out what's wrong, so getting a second opinion is a good idea. You might also become curious about different ways to heal, like alternative or holistic methods. This is a great time to focus on your physical and mental health and explore ways to get better that aren't traditional medicine. You might also become interested in learning about medicine or law. It's important for you to be careful to avoid accidents and situations that might lead to surgery. As the sixth house represents service and daily work life, you may find yourself questioning the nature of your work and service to others. You might seek more meaningful and spiritually fulfilling ways to serve, possibly exploring volunteer work or service-oriented activities that align with your deeper sense of purpose. Overall, this transit encourages you to adopt a more spiritual and philosophical perspective towards obstacles and challenges in your life. It's a period of introspection, creative exploration, and a deeper understanding of yourself and matters related to the sixth house. By embracing the transformative energies of Ketu and the disciplined creativity of Chitra Nakshatra, you have the potential to make significant strides in your spiritual and creative pursuits. However, you should be mindful of conflicts and ego clashes, approaching such situations with grace and understanding. For Taurus, Ketu's transit through the fifth house, which is associated with love, romance, education, and children, might lead to separations from your loved ones or kids for various reasons. This separation could be physical, or even in terms of emotional distance. Meanwhile, Rahu's presence in the 11th house may keep you engaged with social groups and friends. Chitra Nakshatra is recognized for its connection to creativity, but it can also bring about ego clashes and conflicts. When Keita passes through this nakshatra, you might encounter disputes or challenges related to creative projects, particularly if you work in a collaborative or competitive setting. These challenges could also extend to people connected with the fifth house, such as your romantic partners or children, if you have any. It's important to be aware of issues related to ego and approach conflicts with a diplomatic and open-minded attitude. This transit is great for advanced studies or learning, but it might not be the best time for romantic endeavors. Since Mars governs Chitra Nakshatra and Ketu is passing through, it could bring substantial changes in your love life. To maintain healthy relationships, it's crucial for you to avoid expecting perfection from your partner or children, as being too demanding in this regard could make relationships quite challenging. The fifth house represents happiness, creativity, and intellectual pursuits. With Ketu transiting this house, you can get involved in research-oriented education and creativity. Taurus individuals may find themselves seeking deeper meaning and happiness in your creative endeavors. You might feel a strong urge to explore your artistic and creative side, perhaps delving into new hobbies or forms of self-expression. Ketu's influence can also bring a sense of detachment from conventional sources of happiness, prompting a search for something more profound. You can have a change of work environment. As the fifth house is associated with education and learning, this transit may encourage you to engage in unique and unconventional forms of education or self-improvement. You might be drawn to subjects related to psychology or spirituality, reflecting the influence of Chitra Nakshatra and Ketu. It's a favorable time to deepen your knowledge and understanding of these areas. Not a good time for planning a child, but if you're willing for childbirth through alternate ways, then you can go ahead. Ketu's influence is strongly related to spirituality, mysticism, and psychology. Taurus individuals may find themselves drawn to deeper introspection, self-analysis, and spiritual practices during this transit. It's a good time to explore your own psyche, delve into meditation, or seek spiritual guidance to gain a better understanding of your inner self. However, the fifth house is also linked to how receptive an individual is to advice. With Ketu's presence, there might be moments of detachment from worldly advice or guidance. Taurus individuals should be cautious about counsel from others. Find a balance between trusting your inner wisdom and intuition while being discerning about the advice you receive. This transit can encourage Taurus individuals to explore unconventional and unique creative outlets. It's a time to experiment with new forms of artistic expression and challenge traditional norms in creative fields. It can also be a good transit for learning financial analysis, the stock market, and other detail-oriented subjects. You may also suffer from bowel and stomach problems. K2 is associated with past life experiences and skills. Taurus individuals may find themselves drawn to areas of interest or talents that feel familiar from a previous life in the fifth house matters. 
This could lead to a rediscovery of old passions or skills. If you start a new relationship, then you may have some past life karma attached to that person. Overall, this transit can be a time of introspection, creative exploration, and spiritual growth for Taurus individuals. However, you should remain mindful of potential conflicts and ego issues and focus on seeking happiness through unique and meaningful pursuits. For Gemini people, K2 will be transiting your fourth house of home, mother, and homeland. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can bring conflicts, disputes, and ego clashes. These conflicts could be with family members, especially your mother or your nurturing figures. It's essential for you to be ready to face potential domestic disputes and address them patiently and diplomatically. This transit also indicates the possibility of being separated from your home, homeland, or your mother for various reasons. With Raha placed in the 10th house, which relates to your career and public image, you might find yourself more focused on your professional life and neglecting your home environment. You might prefer to spend less time at home. You could also develop an interest in real estate, but it's more advisable to consider it as an investment rather than an immediate endeavor. This transit can bring significant changes to your home life, including the potential for breakups within your family. It's a time for you to reflect and transform your relationship with your mother and your sense of home. You might feel misunderstood at home or by your mother, prompting a need to explore the influence of your mother on your life and reconnect with your roots. The fourth house is also associated with emotions and inner peace. With Ketu's influence, you may experience detachment from your emotional responses. Setting high expectations at home or from your mother could lead to troubles or a loss of peace of mind. Consequently, you may yearn for a more serene and tranquil state of mind. This period is favorable for exploring meditation and mindfulness practices to enhance inner peace. Ketu's representation of intuition and research abilities align with the fourth house's focus on introspection and inner exploration. You may find yourself drawn to intuitive practices, dream analysis, or psychological research during this transit. It's a period for delving deeper into the mysteries of the mind and soul. Chitra Nakshatra's association with creativity can inspire you to explore your creative side within the domestic sphere. This could involve home decoration, artistic pursuits, or even real estate ventures. It's an excellent time to channel creativity into beautifying and improving your home environment. It can also bring foreign travel. Ketu's connection to spirituality and the mystical world may lead you to seek deeper spiritual insights during this transit. You might explore meditation, spiritual practices, or even esoteric studies related to your home and family. Ketu is associated with curiosity and past life connections. You may find yourself intensely curious about your family's history, lineage, or ancestral roots. This could lead to discoveries or a sense of deja vu related to your family's past. In summary, this transit encourages you to explore the deeper layers of your emotional and domestic life. It's a time for introspection, spiritual growth, and creative expression within the home. While conflicts and ego clashes may arise, approaching them with a calm and reflective mindset can lead to resolution and personal growth. Overall, this transit offers opportunities for greater understanding of your roots, family dynamics, and inner peace. For Cancer, K2 will move through your third house, which is linked to self-efforts, business, communication, travel, willpower, and courage. This period might make you reflect on your determination and assertiveness. You could sense a detachment from your usual sources of motivation. It's a chance to dig deeper and understand what truly drives your willpower, allowing you to develop a more profound sense of self-determination. The third house is connected to communication skills and marketing. It hints that you may be interested in starting your own business, potentially involving research, real estate, analysis, communication, or travel. With Ketu's influence, you might reevaluate how you communicate and promote your ideas or business. You might explore unconventional ways to express yourself and market your ventures. Your business could also be linked to the occult, mysticism, or research-oriented matters. This house also pertains to younger siblings and close neighbors. Your relationships with these individuals might undergo some changes. There could be a feeling of detachment, or a need for deeper understanding and communication with siblings and neighbors during this transit. Keep in mind that having high expectations from younger siblings could lead to troubles. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can trigger conflicts and ego clashes. These issues may revolve around communication problems, especially with siblings or close neighbors. Be ready for potential disputes and strive to address them with diplomacy and a spiritually evolved perspective. The third house governs short-distance travels. You may find yourself inclined to explore nearby places, 
engage in frequent short trips, or engage in activities that involve local travel. These travels may have a transformative and spiritual quality. During this time, you can also travel to a distant land. Be cautious when driving to avoid accidents. The presence of Rahu in the ninth house can stimulate foreign travel. This is an excellent transit for gathering as much information as possible. With Ketu's spiritual inclination, you might reevaluate your investments, especially in matters related to communication or business. Exercise caution and consider more unconventional or holistic investment strategies. Additionally, you may develop a more profound interest in spiritual or esoteric subjects. The third house also relates to one's state of mind. Having Rahu Ketu's influence on the 9 to 3 axis can lead to a detached and philosophical outlook. You may find yourself more contemplative and focused on inner peace and mental clarity. Ketu's representation of curiosity and research abilities align with the third house's focus on intellectual pursuits. You may feel a heightened curiosity about various subjects, prompting you to engage in research or in-depth studies. This can lead to a deeper understanding of specific topics. This transit can also bring health issues to your parents. Overall, this transit encourages you to reevaluate your willpower, communication style, and self-efforts. It's a period for self-discovery, inner exploration, and a deeper understanding of your motivations. While conflicts and ego clashes may arise, approaching them with a calm and reflective mindset can lead to resolution and personal growth. Overall, this transit offers opportunities for greater spiritual insight and a more profound sense of self-determination. For Leo, K2 will be moving through your second house in Virgo, which is linked to family, wealth, and speech. This suggests that you'll be dealing with family and wealth matters. The second house relates to values and finances. During this period, you may find yourself in a phase of soul-searching about what truly matters to you in life. It's an opportunity to reconsider your financial goals and see if they align with your values. Although you may be involved with wealth-related matters, you might not be too inclined towards material wealth during this time. You could experience a detachment from material possessions, which can lead to a deeper understanding of non-materialistic values. You might find opportunities to accumulate wealth through business and research-related work. The second house also represents family and family lineage. You may witness changes or transformations within your family dynamics. It could be a time to address family issues or explore your ancestral connections. This transit offers a chance for deeper self-discovery through your family ties. However, you might also experience periods of separation from your family for various reasons. With K2 and Chitra Nakshatra in Virgo, you might have higher expectations from your family. Striving for perfection in family matters may not be the best approach and could lead to disappointment. The presence of Rahu in the 8th house may also bring challenges in family matters. This transit can bring significant changes in your family life and wealth-related concerns. Kata's influence may prompt a shift in the way you manage your finances and savings. You might explore unconventional methods of accumulating wealth or reevaluate your financial investments. It's a good time to focus on financial independence and resourcefulness. It may also require some extra effort to save your money. If you like, given Ketu's transit in Chitra Nakshatra, you can try to be more perfectionist or analytical in wealth-related matters. The second house governs the face and throat in the human body. The second house is also associated with speech. With Ketu's presence, you may feel a sense of detachment from your usual way of expressing yourself. You can also develop a spiritual way of speaking. This house also represents close friends who are considered like family members. You may reevaluate your friendships and their impact on your values and finances. There could be a shift in the dynamics of these close friendships during the transit. It is a good time to research wealth or finance-related matters. Kate's representation of curiosity and research aligns with the second house's focus on values and wealth. You may feel curious about financial matters and explore in-depth research related to investments or resource management. This can lead to a better understanding of financial strategies. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can bring conflicts, disputes, and ego clashes. In the context of the second house, these issues may relate to financial disputes or value conflicts. Be prepared for potential conflicts and aim to approach them with diplomacy and a spiritually evolved perspective. You may feel that you are misunderstood in your family. You may like to be away from them. Overall, this transit encourages you to reevaluate your personal values financial goals, and family dynamics. It's a period for self-discovery, introspection into material and non-material wealth, and a deeper understanding of your familial and financial connections. 
While conflicts and ego clashes may arise, approaching them with a calm and reflective mindset can lead to resolution and personal growth. Overall, this transit offers opportunities for greater financial independence and a more profound understanding of non-materialistic values. For Virgo, K2 will be transiting your first house, which represents yourself, your life path, and your physical body. The first house is also about your personality and how you present yourself to the world. This period might lead to some deep self-reflection and a transformation in how you see yourself. When K2 transits the ascendant or the first house, you might feel somewhat detached from yourself. There could be a sense of detachment from your usual self-identity, which can ultimately help you understand who you truly are and how you present yourself to the world. This might lead you to question your self-worth, and it's a good idea to engage in a lot of self-exploration and self-investigation. The first house is closely connected to your overall health, especially concerning your body and head. With Ketu's influence, you might become more conscious of your physical health and explore alternative or holistic approaches to healing and well-being. There's also a possibility of traveling away from your place of birth during this period. It's a great time to dive into spiritual, occult, and mystical activities, and to further your education. Take advantage of Ketu's transit through Chitra Nakshatra to seek perfection from within. Ketu's spiritual influence may lead you on a deeper exploration of your life path and purpose. You may question where your life is heading and embark on a spiritual journey to discover your true purpose. This transit encourages introspection into your life's goals and aspirations. You might feel like you don't belong where you are right now. The first house is connected to the place of your birth, so this period may prompt you to revisit your roots and consider how your place of birth has influenced your life journey. It's an opportunity to connect with your heritage and ancestral lineage. You might even have some mystical experiences during this time and feel like you're living in your own world. This transit has the potential to bring significant changes to your overall life. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can inspire creative and artistic pursuits. You may find yourself drawn to creative endeavors or artistic expression during this transit. It's an excellent time to explore and develop your creative talents. You will have a research-oriented approach throughout this period. Chitra Nakshatra is also associated with conflicts and ego clashes. In the context of the first house, these conflicts may relate to personal identity and self-image. Considering Rahu is in the seventh house, be prepared for potential clashes related to your self-perception and ego with other people, and aim to approach these issues with patience and diplomacy. Ketu's representation of intuition aligns with the first house's focus on self-understanding. This transit may heighten your intuitive abilities, allowing you to delve deeper into your inner self and develop a better understanding of your motivations and desires. This is also the time to get seriously involved in spirituality and occult practices. K2 is a planet of spirituality, and its presence in the first house can trigger a spiritual awakening. You may feel a stronger connection to your spiritual self and explore various spiritual practices, including meditation and introspection. Spiritual and occult ways can become a part of your life path during this time. The best remedy for K2 is meditation. Meditate every day. Overall, this transit encourages you to embark on a journey of self-discovery, transformation, and spiritual growth. It's a period for exploring your identity, purpose in life, and physical well-being. While conflicts and ego clashes may arise, approaching them with a calm and reflective mindset can lead to resolution and personal growth. This transit offers opportunities for a deeper connection with your inner self and a heightened sense of spirituality. For Libra, K2 will be in your 12th house, which is linked to foreign lands, spirituality, losses, and hidden things. This 12th house is known for representing the idea of letting go and releasing. This period might bring a spiritual awakening where you start thinking about the significance of losses in life. During this time, you might find yourself letting go of attachment to material things and desires driven by your ego. Instead, it's a phase where you can experience inner growth and connect more deeply with your spiritual self. This transit also suggests that you could be spending time in foreign countries, engaging in research, and delving into detailed and analytical matters. It's a time when you might explore spiritual and mystical subjects. However, it's better to avoid making big financial investments because there's a risk of losing money. Because the Chitra Nakshatra is ruled by Mars, and with Ketu's influence, you might undergo a significant shift in your spiritual perspective. It's an excellent period to engage in spiritual pursuits. In essence, this transit guides you on a path toward foreign lands, spirituality, and hidden topics. It may even bring a spiritual or mystical experience into your life. You might consider visiting foreign countries or embarking on spiritual journeys and retreats. 
it's an opportunity for personal transformation. However, keep in mind that this period could also lead to significant expenses. Since K2 is associated with letting go, and the 12th house symbolizes losses, you might experience some financial setbacks during this time. K2 also associated with curiosity and research, which aligns with the 12th house's focus on inner exploration. So, you may find yourself intensely curious about spiritual and mystical matters, possibly conducting research related to profound existential questions. Hospitals are represented by the 12th house, and with Virgo's association with healing abilities, this transit may prompt you to focus on your physical and mental well-being. It's a time to engage in self-healing practices, seek medical guidance when needed, and address any lingering health issues. The 12th house is associated with secrets and hidden aspects of the self. With Keta's spiritual influence, you may embark on a journey of inner exploration, uncovering hidden facets of your personality and past experiences. It's an excellent time for introspection and self-discovery. K2, representing spirituality and isolation, encourages you to focus on spiritual growth and introspection. The 12th house transit provides an opportunity for self-reflection and connection with the mystical world. It's a time to let go of egoistic desires and find solace in solitude. The 12th house is related to religious places and spiritual practices. You may become more inclined toward religious or spiritual activities, such as meditation, prayer, or visits to sacred places. You may seek solace and guidance in spiritual practices. It's a good transit for your spiritual growth. You might also have a sense of loss regarding your whole life. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can bring conflicts, disputes, and ego clashes with others. These issues may relate to inner conflicts, past emotional baggage, or spiritual struggles. You should be prepared for potential clashes and aim to approach them with a calm and reflective mindset. It's a good time to seek perfection in spiritual matters and let go of the ego. Overall, this transit encourages you to embrace a spiritual journey, let go of attachments, and seek inner transformation. It's a period for exploring foreign lands, inner secrets, and spiritual practices. While conflicts and ego clashes may arise, approaching them with a calm and spiritually evolved perspective can lead to personal growth. For Scorpio, K2 will be transiting your 11th house in Virgo, which relates to gains, elder siblings, and friendships. The 11th house typically represents your desires, hopes, and dreams. However, with Keita's influence, your desires may undergo a transformation. Your priorities could shift, and you might find yourself more spiritually inclined, seeking fulfillment beyond material possessions. Money may not be your primary focus during this period. The 11th house also involves your income and financial matters. This transit could affect your earnings and how you manage your finances. It's wise to be cautious with your money and make prudent decisions to avoid unexpected financial losses. The Chitra Nakshatra is ruled by Mars, and when combined with Keta's energy, it can bring significant changes and transformations in your sources of income. During this time, conflicts and ego clashes might arise in your life, possibly related to friendships, group activities, or financial matters. When these conflicts occur, it's advisable to approach them with patience and diplomacy. You might also experience some detachment from your elder siblings and social networks. This detachment could lead to changes in your friendships and social circle. While some old friendships may fade away, you could also form new connections with people who share your spiritual interests. Your relationships with elder siblings might also undergo transformations during this transit. It's an opportunity to resolve any lingering issues or strengthen your bond with them. However, be mindful not to have overly high expectations, as this could lead to disappointments. Even though you may not be very interested in networking with your professional circle, you might find yourself drawn to new social and community activities that align with your spiritual or humanitarian values. Utilize your knowledge to serve a higher cause and engage in networking that supports your spiritual growth. This is a time to connect with people who share your spiritual journey. This transit may also indicate a separation from working in a large organization or a corporate environment. K2 symbolism of isolation may encourage you to spend more time in solitude and introspection, facilitating self-discovery and inner growth through moments of quiet reflection. Saving money might be a bit challenging during this period, but you can benefit from research-based entrepreneurial endeavors. Kata's influence, which represents curiosity and research abilities, may make you more curious about spiritual or esoteric subjects. With Rahu in the 5th house and Ketu in the 11th house, you might be inclined to explore creative and research-oriented pursuits, especially those related to psychology, real estate, or spiritual growth because of Chitra Nakshatra's influence. Additionally, 
as the 11th house is the 8th from the 4th house, it suggests changes or instability related to your home or your relationship with your mother. Ketu's association with spirituality aligns with the 11th house's focus on desires, so you may embark on a spiritual journey, seeking mystical experiences and inner transformation, while developing a deeper connection with the metaphysical world. Overall, this transit offers you an opportunity to reevaluate your desires, transform your financial strategies, and reconfigure your social circles. Despite potential conflicts and ego clashes, approaching them with a spiritually evolved mindset can lead to personal growth and a pursuit of creative and research-driven interests. For Sagittarius, K2 will be moving through your 10th house in Virgo, which is about your career, job, authority, and recognition. The 10th house is the part of your chart that's connected to your career and work life. So, during this time, you might experience some significant changes when it comes to your job. You could feel a bit disconnected from your current career path, or you might find yourself yearning for a job that's more spiritually fulfilling. It's possible that you'll want to explore new opportunities in your professional life. In fact, because the 10th house is about your job, and K2 often represents separation or isolation, this transit might even lead to you leaving your current job and thinking about starting your own business. If you do decide to stick with a job, it might get a bit stressful. The 10th house also has a connection to your father's influence on your life. This period could make you think about how your father or father figure has impacted you. You might yearn for a deeper connection with him or change how you see his role in your life. There might be health issues related to your father, or you could experience a separation from him, either mentally or physically for various reasons. The influence of the Chitra Nakshatra can bring conflicts and ego clashes, especially in your workplace. So, it's a good idea to be prepared to handle any challenges at work with patience and diplomacy. Your relationship with your father or other authority figures might go through a rough patch. It's important not to have overly high expectations from your father or those in authority, as it could lead to problems. This isn't the best time for job-based careers. Since Mars rules the Chitra Nakshatra and with Ketu there, your father's situation and your fame and recognition in society might go through some internal changes, but it might not be very obvious externally. In essence, this is a period of career transformation and reassessment of your relationship with authority figures and your father's influence on your life. The 10th house is linked to your public reputation and fame, so you might notice changes in how others perceive you and may want to rethink how you present yourself to the world. This house is also associated with authority and leadership. During this transit, you may feel disconnected from traditional structures of authority and could look for unconventional ways to express your leadership skills or question hierarchical systems. As the 10th house is connected to government and law, you may develop a heightened interest in legal or governmental matters, including potential involvement in legal disputes or career opportunities in the legal or public service sectors. Additionally, you might be drawn to work related to research, the occult, or spirituality. Kate's influence represents curiosity and research abilities, which might lead you to explore spiritually aligned career options, engage in research related to creativity and psychology and prompt you to align your career with your spiritual or creative aspirations. The 10th house's focus on public life and career can encourage you to engage in self-reflection and seek inner transformation, possibly prompting you to question your life's purpose. Keita's symbolism of isolation can also encourage you to spend more time in introspection, allowing for self-discovery and an evaluation of your professional goals and ambitions. Starting your own business may be a favorable path during this transit. Overall, this period offers you a chance to transform your career and public life, guiding you to seek more spiritually fulfilling paths, explore creative or legal avenues, and question traditional authority structures. While workplace challenges and conflicts may arise, a spiritually evolved approach can lead to personal growth and a deeper understanding of your life's purpose. For Capricorn, K2 will be transiting through your ninth house in Virgo, which relates to higher education, religion, philosophies, and literature. The ninth house is traditionally associated with luck, fortune, and your spiritual connections. During this period, you might reevaluate your beliefs concerning luck and fortune. Your belief system could undergo changes, and you may become more interested in exploring your own spirituality and your ideas about fate. This transit suggests that you might be drawn to areas such as higher education, religion, and ideologies. It's great to strive for perfection, but be cautious not to have excessively high expectations of your teachers or spiritual guides, as this could lead to problems. The influence of the Chitra Nakshatra can bring about conflicts and ego clashes with others, especially when it comes to beliefs and philosophies. 
You might begin to question your current belief systems, potentially creating inner conflicts and disagreements with others. The ninth house is connected to teachings from gurus and parents. This transit might lead to changes in your relationship with spiritual or philosophical guides. You could have disagreements with your teachers or differing views and ideas with others, prompting you to seek new sources of wisdom and change your connection with mentors in your life. You might develop unconventional views on religion and philosophy. This house is about religion, philosophy, and higher knowledge. You might feel a strong urge to explore new spiritual or philosophical paths, challenging your existing beliefs and searching for deeper meaning in life. The ninth house is twelfth from the tenth house of career. This indicates a lack of support from your father or authority figures, possibly leading you to leave a job to pursue a different career. You might even go on travels to distant lands, especially for your higher education. The ninth house signifies pilgrimage and long-distance travel, inspiring you to embark on spiritual journeys or long travels to sacred places, seeking profound experiences and spiritual insights. Rahu's presence in the third house further supports traveling. This house represents faith, worship, and religious places. With Ketu in the ninth house of Chitra Nakshatra, you may exhibit qualities of being healthy, courageous, and efficient. You might engage more deeply in your faith or explore new forms of worship, becoming more active in religious or spiritual practices. Ketu's symbolism of research may lead you to delve into spiritual research, such as studying ancient texts, spirituality, or philosophy. You may also explore creative and artistic pursuits with a spiritual or philosophical theme. This transit could drive you to work harder to ensure the success of your initiatives, potentially gaining much from it, though saving money might be challenging. During this transit, you may also experience a desire for solitude and introspection, focusing on your spiritual growth and self-discovery. It's important to note that this transit can bring health issues to parents. K2 represents past life experiences and wisdom, so you might feel drawn to uncover or reconnect with knowledge from your past lives, influencing your current beliefs and spirituality. Overall, this transit offers you the opportunity to explore your spiritual and philosophical beliefs, seeking deeper meaning in life. While conflicts and ego clashes related to your beliefs may arise, you can ultimately find spiritual growth and transformation on your journey, which may involve travel, pilgrimage, and a quest for wisdom and fortune through your spiritual pursuits. For Aquarius, K2 will be transiting through your 8th house in Virgo, which is related to occult knowledge, significant life changes, inheritances, and financial benefits from relationships. The eighth house is about secrets, mysteries, and understanding occult subjects like astrology, numerology, and spiritual practices. During this time, you might become deeply interested in exploring these hidden truths and conducting research in these areas. Mars and Keta together rule the Scorpio sign, which is the natural eighth house of the zodiac. Since Chitra is a Mars nakshatra and it combines with Keta's imploding energy, this suggests that you may go through a significant change in your life. However, most of this change might be internal, impacting your thoughts and feelings. This transit can trigger mystical and transformative experiences. Whether these changes are for the better or worse depends on your overall birth chart. You might have encounters with the mystical or supernatural, leading to profound personal transformations. Your perspective on life and death could also undergo significant shifts. The eighth house is connected to shared resources, inheritances, and hidden wealth. During this period, you may discover unexpected financial resources or inheritances. It's essential to pay attention to any financial matters that have been concealed or kept secret. Additionally, it's crucial to be cautious about accidents and surgical procedures. The eighth house signifies sudden and transformative events. You may experience abrupt changes in your life or encounters that transform your outlook and identity. This is a period of personal growth and rebirth. Ketu's presence in the 8th house encourages research and investigation. You might engage in in-depth research on various subjects, including psychology and the workings of the mind, uncovering hidden information and gaining insights into complex matters. With a growing interest in the occult, you may explore practices like meditation, yoga, or energy healing. You might delve into the hidden aspects of human consciousness and the mystical world. This transit could be a time when you invest a lot of your energy into exploring the occult side of life seeking to understand deeper truths about existence. Chitra Nakshatra's influence can lead to conflicts and ego clashes with others related to the 8th house, particularly in research or investigative pursuits. Aquarius individuals may face disagreements with colleagues or associates during research projects. You can have issues with in-laws. It also shows a split in relations or inheritance, 
feelings of separation and frustration in relationships. It is better not to seek perfection in relationship matters, as this can lead to troubles. The eighth house is associated with transformation and regeneration. This transit can facilitate profound personal growth and renewal for Aquarius individuals. It's a period for shedding old layers of the self and embracing a renewed sense of identity. It's also a good time to engage in meditation and other spiritual or mystical pursuits. Ketu's attributes include intuition, curiosity, and research ability. Aquarius individuals may rely on their intuition and inquisitive nature to uncover hidden truths and explore the mystical side of life. Overall, this transit encourages Aquarius individuals to delve into the mysteries of life, explore the occult, and engage in transformative experiences. While they may encounter conflicts and ego clashes in their research, this period offers opportunities for personal regeneration, growth, and hidden knowledge. For Pisces, K2 will be transiting their seventh house in Virgo, which is related to relationships, partnerships, and interactions with the public. The seventh house is where you focus on marriage and significant partnerships, so you may find that your relationships, especially your marriage or important partnerships, are going through a period of change and reevaluation. The influence of Chitra Nakshatra can bring creativity and artistry to your initiatives, but it can also lead to disagreements and disputes with your partners and spouse. It's important for you to maintain open communication and be willing to compromise during this time. Kate's presence in Chitra might challenge your ego and how you perceive yourself within your relationships. You might feel the need to let go of ego-driven attachments and redefine your identity in the context of your relationships. This period can be an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. With Rahu in the first house, it's a good time for self-healing and self-discovery. However, it might not be the best time for your relationships, as Ketu could lead to physical or mental separation from your partner. Since conflicts and ego clashes can arise in your relationships due to the influence of Chitra Nakshatra, it's essential to work on resolving conflicts peacefully and preventing disputes from escalating. Using diplomacy and compromise will be key to maintaining harmony in your partnerships. There might also be some difficulties or health issues related to your spouse during this transit. You may be drawn to deep research and psychological exploration. You might want to understand the hidden aspects of your relationships and delve into the psychology of both yourself and your partners. It's a good time for introspection and self-analysis. The seventh house can also relate to interactions with people from other cultures or foreign places. You may connect with individuals from different backgrounds during this period, leading to valuable insights and connections. It's an opportunity to broaden your horizons and learn from diverse perspectives. K2 is associated with spirituality and mysticism. You may have a heightened interest in spiritual matters during this transit. You might seek spiritual guidance or engage in practices such as meditation, yoga, or energy healing to gain deeper insights into your relationships and yourself. The seventh house represents transformation in relationships. You may experience significant changes in your partnerships. These changes can lead to personal growth, a deeper understanding of one another, and the opportunity for a more profound connection with your partners. If you start a new relationship during Ketu's transit through the seventh house, you might carry some past life baggage with that person. Since Chitra is influenced by Mars and combined with Ketu's energy, this transit could bring about a significant or unexpected change in your love life. Having very high expectations in a relationship might lead to separation or disappointment. This period also suggests that you may feel drawn to working with and helping or serving people through a business in a spiritual manner. This business may require a lot of research and exploration. Since the seventh house is linked to how you treat others, this transit might encourage you to assess how you interact with people in your daily life. The way you engage with others can directly impact your relationships with your partners. While you can expect benefits from such a business venture, when it comes to relationships, you need to work on yourself internally before expecting external changes. Overall, the transit of Ketu through Chitra Nakshatra in Virgo sign, in the seventh house, signifies a period of transformation and self-discovery in relationships for Pisces individuals. It's a time to let go of ego attachments, embrace creativity, resolve conflicts diplomatically, and seek spiritual insights to deepen your connections with your partners and the world at large. As we wrap up this transit episode, remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. It's an exciting month ahead with astrological movements impacting all aspects of life. If you'd like more personalized predictions for your specific zodiac sign or have any questions about your astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. 
Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.